Hi guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's question as if you were one of my pr private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Whenever you are asked about potential energy on the MCAT, I want you to think about the potential energy equals mass times gravity times height equation. And the MCAT loves to trick you by giving you useless details. For instance, the question might tell you that the ball was raised using a crane. It might tell you that it was raised using a pulley or that it was dropped by an airplane. But it does not matter how the ball got there. We're dealing with potential energy and potential energy is equal to the mass of the object times gravity times height. It only matters its position and its mass, okay? So don't worry about all the useless details they might throw at you to try and trick you. So potential energy is equal to mass, which in this case is close to 10 kilograms, and gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. I'm going to approximate that as 10 as well. And height, which is close to 10 meters. And you notice that I'm not using the exact numbers. And that's important on the MCAT. You need to approximate things because that's how you're going to be able to work through these math problems quickly. And I'll teach you all the details of how to do this kind of math very quickly in my math mastery course. I'd highly recommend checking it out. So now we just do 10 times 10 times 10 and we get potential energy equal to 1000. Therefore my answer is closest to answer choice C, 989 joules. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions today, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.